Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's talk about the 19 rules for dimensioning. And these rules are the standard rules which we follow in our day-to-day -day drawing activities. These rules can be applicable for any design tool including Creo, SolidWorks, SolidAge, Catia, Unigraphics, Inventor, AutoCAD and many other design tools. So let's understand these rules in detail. So this is the rule number one and it says that the first row of dimensioning is 3 letter height from the part and the next row of dimensioning is 2 letter height apart. That means your first dimensioning should be placed 3 letter height from this part and your other dimension will be placed 2 letter height from the first dimension. So you cannot place your dimension just like this. You must follow these rules to get output like this. Now some of the tools offer this functionality automatically. They have auto snap. So you get this result automatically but some tools doesn't offer this functionality. So in that case, you need to be careful to place your dimension as per the first rule. Now the second rule, and this says that there must be a standard minimum gap between drawing views and dimension extension line. So it is talking about this gap. Here also you have a gap. But if you see this view, there is no gap in between this drawing view and dimension extension line. Here also same problem. So you cannot place dimension like this. Again, some of the tools have this functionality automatically, but some tools doesn't have, and there you need to be careful while placing the dimension. Now the rule number three, and this says that place dimension between the views. That means if you have multiple views in your drawing, just like this, then you must place your dimensions in between two views. You should not place your dimension outside the view. So if you have enough space in between two views, then you should place your dimension just like this. You should not place your dimension outside. Now the rule number four, and this says dimension the most descriptive views. That means when you are placing a dimension, you should see that which view is more descriptive. So if you see these two dimensions, you will find that dimension 25 is more descriptive in this view. If you see here, there is just a line. You cannot understand what exactly this line stands for. But here you can understand that from here the part is tapered. So this view is more descriptive. So place dimension for most descriptive views. Now the rule number 5 and it says that dimension from visible lines not hidden lines. So you should not place any dimension for hidden line. This is one of the most prominent rule. You cannot place a dimension for a hidden line. You should always go for solid lines. Rule number 6. Give the overall dimension and omit one of the chain dimension. So whenever you are creating a drawing, you place multiple views. So always place one dimension for overall size and leave one dimension from your chain dimension. So for example, you have these dimensions like a chain dimension. So you can either leave for this 25 or this 25 or this 50 and you should place a overall size dimension. Rule number 7, do not repeat dimensions. So if you see this dimension 25, this is already placed here. So once one dimension is placed in a view, you should not repeat this dimension in any other view. Now the rule number 8, do not add over constant dimension. Again this rule is similar to the previous rule. You should not add over constant dimension. Like you have placed the overall size here and then either you go for this 75 or this 25. You cannot place these two dimensions together because you already have the overall size here. So avoid over constant dimensions. Now the rule number 9. Dimension line should not cross other lines. Extension line may cross other lines. That means this rule is talking about these lines. These lines are called extension lines. These lines can cross each other but these dimension lines should not cross each other. So place your dimension accordingly to avoid this jiggling. Now the rule number 10, place dimension close to the related features. So this rule is talking about this kind of dimension. Now you see 0.343, this dimension is for this particular feature and it is placed here. You can place nearby this feature, something like this. So try to place all the dimensions close to that particular feature. Now let's have a small break. 
and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you rule number 11 do not place dimensions within the boundary of the part unless absolutely necessary that means it is talking about this kind of problem if you can place this dimension outside you must place that dimension outside but in some cases like this you cannot move this dimension out you can place within the drawing view now the rule number 12 place angular dimensions outside with extension line that means you cannot place a angular dimension like this even though it is very clear but you should have extension line with all your dimension rule number 13 dimension rounded corners to the theoretical intersection that means when you are placing a dimension as a start point you should take the intersection of these two lines from here and the intersection of these two lines from here you should not place this dimension simply by taking reference of this line if you take reference from this line it will be smaller than this it will not consider the intersection of this point so when you place a model driven dimension you won't get this problem but if you are creating a dimension within the drawing then you won't get this dimension automatically you need to take care the theoretical intersection point for this kind of dimension rule number 14 dimension cylinders in rectangular view and holes in circular view with diameter so if you see this view these areas these all are cylindrical feature so for this kind of feature you do dimensioning in rectangular view and for this particular hole you do dimensioning in circular view so this is the circular view and this is the rectangular view rule number 15 dimension arc less than 180 degree with radius not diameter so wherever you have circle less than 180 degree you should place radius dimension not the diametrical dimension rule number 16 stagger dimension numbers to prevent crowding so it is talking about these numbers now if you see this side if you have this kind of clumsy placement then it is better to move this dimension out and stagger this dimension here and there so that it will be visible rule number 17 locate holes in circular views and position it from the center so when you see this view again this is a hidden lines you cannot place a dimension for hidden lines so in that case also this is wrong place dimensions for holes always in circular view and for positioning the hole always go for center position rule number 18 dimension rounded slot with overall width or the center distance with radius so these are the two popular methods either you go for overall size like this or you go with center distance with a radius now the last rule rule number 19 extend leader from the first word or last word of the note that means when you place your note it should be either like this or like this so here it is the first word so your leader start with the first word or your leader start with the last word now in this case this is not the last word so you cannot have a leader like this and this is also not the first word so you cannot have leader like this so you should have either the last word or the first word so these are the 19 rules for dimensioning and these rules are strictly followed in all drawing activities so you must follow these rules to make your drawing better and standard so that's it from this video so this was the 19 rules of dimensioning and i hope this video will be helpful now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and i'll see you in my next video thank you